living my second surf life now, but it's it's <laughs> about it's about it documenting that those times so they aren't lost, and it, it's kind of a map hopefully mm-hmm. for people to not give up and and uh you know just to understand that uh, you know we it's a really it's a good life it really is it's an incredibly good life and why not give it a chance you know like what do you got to lose you know it's uh, uh you know i i did what i promised my mom i went back to college i graduated when i was 40 from university of hawaii and um my brother came over <laughs> and he brought his sons to watch me walk down the you know when you graduate uh. yeah so i yeah i i uh i'd love to partner with you guys too like mm. i um tell me what it is that um so the sunset beach the photos like of lynn boyer at sunset beach what is it that the sparks your interest the most right now Oh my oh, goodness! I mean, so uh, many. I mean, the, the performance photos for sure, but also again, like these these stories of overcoming certain uh, obstacles and odds. You know, there was, you know, you watch the movie Busting Down the Door, and you know, I I shed a tear when Rabbit talked about how difficult he had it. You know, but I don't. I don't know. <laughs> you know, but that's the thing, right? Like, there's a whole nother story exactly. of. Yeah. There's of, a backstory there, yeah. I'm sure, but there's a lot of <laughs> women who even had mm-hmm. to go even much farther yeah. and much more extreme and had to yeah. overcome way more adversities mm-hmm. than than Rabbit or Ian Cairns or any of those guys, you know. And and I think those stories are are way cooler. And like, you know, mm-hmm. Ian Cairns is such a blowhard and he comes off like oh <laughs> rugged and tough and you're like dude what are you talking what did you have to over overcome like the women here who you shortchanged on the pro tour you know on the asp like they had way more to overcome and they had so yep. many many more obstacles to, ha- to handle <laughs> and, and yeah, can I just yeah i just i'm sorry to interrupt you oh, but i please, just have no. to let you know i that when they showed that film yeah. Girls can't surf, you know, the one that happened after the book signing thing. Yeah. Guess who was on the panel? Ian, of course. Ian, PT, <laughs> Jericho, oh, right. and Shannon. Exactly. I, so, mm-hmm. I've seen Jericho surf Sunset really good. She's, She's absolutely amazing. fabulous big wave surfer, but I never once saw Shannon Eichmann out there, and she even admits it. So, what? I don't know what the movie's about because i haven't seen it but why wouldn't they tell me about it like i should have gone i want to see it everybody knows i want to see it why don't they want me to see it (laughs) i don't don't understand (laughs) it it's i mean it's a great movie it tends to, to really highlight, I think, um, the the eighties and nineties a bit yeah. more of of that era. Mm-hmm. And they skipped um, over. Yeah. They they definitely. Well, I think they targeted a very specific generation. Yeah. I think I think yeah. you have to get morsels and the you know yeah. had to set up the personalities of that time, and that's why I'm really I really want to hear and see the story of your generation. Yes. You know. Yeah, I want. I'm going to tell personalities and characters. That's, yeah, that's important. you know they might have had a hard time finding the uh, the background the photo. They did. I know they did because it's very hard to find yeah. from the, that area. Yeah. It's it's also uh, very. I, um, there's a lot of ground to cover, and they tried to fit mm-hmm. a lot in, like almost yeah. too much to the point where I feel like it was. Bur- it was busting at, at, at its seams in some ways, the movie. Yeah, I thought they hard. did it very well, though. I thought they, they did I'm it really well. Didn't. It was I'm really saying... wor- well organized, and it didn't go too deep into all those other avenues. It just, no. it just let you know that that was there. We can't really go into it, but that existed. And, that, and I, I feel like it, it was very cohesive. Um, okay. But you know there was a lot left on the cutting room floor because it was oh, absolutely. so even, much. Even the version yeah. that I saw to the version that I saw after its U.S. release, it was yeah. like... See, you know, port like just chunks taken out. You know. Oh really? Um, oh. Yeah, but I think it's it's it happens. It's film like I'm a filmmaker, yeah. so it's like yeah. I know what happens. You know how that happens. Um, yeah. But that just leaves an opportunity for for the story of this of the women of the beginning of professional yeah. surfing. Yeah. And actually, back to what you were asking about um, uh, the the photo. Um, I think to for me. What really blows me away at seeing that photo? A, because 
it's so rare. You know, it's a vision that we haven't seen of that time. Um, we know how hard it was maybe even to surf. I can't imagine surfing some of those breaks on the North Shore without a leash. That Just seeing that makes me like, oh, you know, just whoa. And then to see women who, we've, you know, the, the narrative of surf, um, the surf culture has veered so in another direction that because of that kind of setup, it is that much more shocking to see you know, a woman like, whoa, and she looks so at ease and free. And I mean, that picture is so powerful because she looks so comfortable, you know, like, yeah, this is every day, but we don't see everyday pictures of her. Yeah. And there's so few images of women from that time. And also, as a person who's really interested into archives, like, now you can just snap mindlessly at any anything right. and get a thousand images and it says nothing but there's something about the celluloid about someone who's in the water mm -hmm. or off the water and they have only 12 frames or 24 frames in their camera and how present you have to be and how and so it really comes across when you see images taken on film taken from that time they have a different feeling to it, a different quality and and the grains of it, the color, you know, structure of it is so different. And it, it you really feel something that I feel like a lot of images done on digital, you just don't feel. It's not a, the same kind of capture of light and the emotion of, you know, the the photographer in that moment, you know, taking that that one snap, that moment. You know, so I think we are feeling all of that when we see those images and and the lack of them. So when we do finally see one and one that's so good, like the quality is great, it's so surprising and so shocking and incredible and moving. And we want more. And and <laughs> just to inspire uh, the these this younger generation. I mean, the mm -hmm. the, the girls that are surfing now um, that are you know, 15, you know, 14, 15, you're seeing are mind blowing. But imagine the strength they may feel from hearing some of these stories mm -hmm. and seeing those images would even give them more confidence moving forward, I think, and more yeah. entitlement towards equal pay and equality in the sports mm -hmm. arena and the coverage. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of the, the things that, like with the younger generation is, Every younger generation, especially from communities where our histories haven't been told, we feel like we're the first to pioneer it. So there, we lose the depth and the entitlements to push forward or, you know, sometimes it also uh, just to be able to envision more. So if we know, I feel like that helps push us further. Like, wait a minute, we've only come this far. I thought we were the first to do this. And then it just emboldens you to just push forward. Like, no. This, like, more. We're just going to keep going forward. Like, there's no way. Like, how many years ago was that? You know, it's like we're blinded every generation to think that, like, this never existed before because our history haven't, hasn't been told or documented. And so, That's you true. know, yeah. there's a kind of historical cultural amnesia. And um, <laughs> I, I really think that that slows down the progress. So if we know we've got this history, then, then we move forward in a much richer and bolder way. That's a good point. Yeah. You know, the, I really haven't. I think actually the women right before us, like um, Linda Benson, mm -hmm. uh, Gidget, they got more media than we did in the 70s. So yes. that's mm -hmm. that continuity. Like that was a really good point because I watched Gidget on TV when I was a little girl. So is that what made me think it was OK to surf? I always mm -hmm. thought it was the fact that my big brother did it and I had to do everything mm -hmm. he did. So it's just <laughs> like, I don't know, but we did, something got dropped in the late seventies and specifically with the, I know in the sport I was in that it happened. I also tend to believe it was in other women's sports like volleyball, mm -hmm. you know, sports that were considered fringe sports, you know? So, um, Yes, let's not ever make this mistake again and not <laughs> have the uh, women have their due process and, and availability of all the things they should uh, to shine and be the best. You know, um, yeah, that's that's an inspiring thought. I uh, really like talking with you guys. I, I know we're probably on a time limit. Did we go past it already? <laughs> 
We're good. We, we don't have We're a good. limit, but I, Joe, I do Joe's, actually. Have Joe's got to. Go. Our engineer's got to get home, though. He has a pregnant wife that he has to tend oh, to. Oh, and, uh, oh yeah, we don't <laughs> want her mad at us. That's okay. um, um, so listen. Okay, go ahead. I was just going to ask, where can our, our uh, listeners find you, and mm-hmm. where can they support uh, certain things about you know women's surf history that you're working on? Okay. Well, well, yeah, well, that's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> I have an, I, yeah, support. Your Instagram so, handle, for one. <laughs> yeah, I got the Instagram. I'm also on Facebook, but not as much anymore. I didn't Talk like successful. the political. Talk Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but what I really want to do is start a, a media nonprofit. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that um, to, and have, not, it's not about me. It's about all of us. So uh, the support would be to um, we're, we're going to have an event at Shack. It's going to be honoring filmmakers, but we're going to uh, the female that we're going to honor is Sachi Cunningham. Oh uh, yeah, so, you know, we had this Favorite. all mapped out, ready to go. Then COVID hit, so we're just we had to renegotiate our venue, and then we're we'll be ready to go. Probably won't happen until next spring, though, uh, February or March. Um, I'll find out more in December. Uh, we have a meeting December 8th. Um, so it's always good to support things like surfing heritage. Uh, but also, I think we really need to um, have uh, a cultural center that is specific for women. Yeah. So that mm-hmm. because yeah. it's all uh, it's uh, still a lot about men. So. Um, Mm -hmm. and we could do that because I, I know how to do it. Like I, I work for both of them. Uh, Of course it's non-paid work right now, but, um, the, the writing and stuff is, uh, a different story. What's happening right now is I'm getting, people are asking me to do stories, to write stories, you know, to get the photographs and all this stuff. So, uh, I'm just trying to negotiate what the best um, people to associate with are and how to make that happen. So just, you know, I'm going to be posting stuff on Instagram just because I love throwing the photos up mm-hmm. there and seeing people's reaction. <laughs> so they can find you at Sandy underscore Ordile, O-R-D-I-L-E. Uh, no, two L's, double L. Sorry, my eyes are going on me here. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> it's getting late. Uh, there, so, right? so everyone can go follow you there, and um, you know, and of course, go to Surfing Heritage uh, Foundation there, and you can go to the California Surfing Museum as well. Uh, that's the other one. Yeah, and we just had the gala there. Yeah. So, um, everyone go to those places and. Um, I think Sandy, we're going to have to have you on again. <laughs> oh, just so, Thank there's you. so many things, uh, you know, we didn't even get to that are just, I, you know, both. I know Karen and I were like chomping mm-hmm. at the bit still. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you. It's, I'm honored to be on your show. Thanks for giving me so much of your time and effort. Oh, and stuff. Thank you, Our Sandy. Pleasure. My goodness. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing your time with us and your and your stories and your work. And